rogue trader or victim of the system. On January 24, 2008, the CEO of France's second biggest bank, Société Générale, announced a record loss of 4 billion 900 million euros. We discovered a completely hidden position and saw that it had an irregularity. The position wasn't included in our account books, but it was still within the frame of our market activities. For the French bank, a young trader was to blame. Jérôme Caraviel became a household name overnight. Even the French parliament got involved in his alleged actions. The French government is following this situation very closely. Caraviel was indicted four days later. The 30-something golden boy from Brittany became the enfant terrible of the investment banking world. Caraviel was always perceived as an outsider. He's been called a megalomaniac, a genius hacker, a high-risk player mourning the death of his father. But Jérôme Carviel says he's just an average guy, solely motivated by making gains for his bank and that his hierarchy gave him free reign. While most of his peers graduated from elite schools, Carviel entered Société Générale after attending State University. In the next five years, he rose to become an investment trader, a position where Carviel excelled. He soon began betting more than he was authorized. Carvel's profits were so high, he would hide them with fictitious trades. Simply speaking, when I would stand to gain 100, I would post a loss of 100 in virtual trade. With the subprime crisis looming, Carvel placed an unauthorized 30 billion euro bet on rising markets. He lost. Early 2008, Carviel placed another bigger bet, attracting his boss's attention. Société Générale scrambled to undo his actions at the cost of 5 billion euros. On the trading floor, it was an open secret. Everything is watched, controlled, reported. My boss has received several emails telling them positions. They had the positions in writing. So for them to argue now that they were unaware of them makes me laugh. Société Générale says Jérôme Carviel is the only one responsible for his actions. The bank's hierarchy admits it may have ignored the warning signals, but they say that doesn't mean they're to blame. If you're careless, that doesn't mean thieves are allowed to steal from you, that cheaters can cheat you. France's equivalent of the Supreme Court decided a long time ago that negligence, as long as it doesn't border on fraud, the victim's negligence doesn't mean it's responsible for the actions of a rogue trader. If found guilty of fraud, hacking the computer system and breach of trust, Carviel faces five years in prison and a 375,000 euro fine.